What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you another beauty haul. I recently went to Mecca Maxima and picked up, well, I went there to pick up concealer but then this happened. Um, and I've also got a few other things here that I've picked up in the past couple of weeks that I haven't really talked about yet on my channel so I thought I would share them with you. So if you're interested and you want to see what I've picked up lately then just stay tuned. Alright, so we'll start with the stuff that I picked up from Mecca yesterday, or a couple days ago, I think it was. Yeah, a few days ago. Um, I went there because I needed concealer, and yeah, a few more things happened. Does that happen to anyone else? Like, I can never just go in and just buy one thing. Like, I have to, like, go crazy. So, I'll start out with showing you the concealer that I went in for. So, that would be the Born This Way. If it will focus. Concealer from Too Faced. Um, I went there, I, I wanted to get this because I ran out of my NARS creamy concealer and I've been wanting to try this and I thought it would be like a very similar but maybe slightly different alternative to the NARS one. So I picked this up and I picked mine up in the color Light, which I'm wearing it today and I'm actually really happy with the color, so that's good. But this says that it's infused with coconut water to delicately replenish skin's moisture levels. Alpine Rose to brighten and boost skin's radiance, and Hyaluronic Acid for a smoother, more youthful appearance. And I've used it twice now, and i got to say I really, really like it. The one thing I did notice is that um, I haven't been setting my concealer. If you guys have been watching my channel for the past couple of months, you would know that. Um, I haven't been setting my concealer with powder, so yesterday I didn't set it at all, and the mascara that I used actually transferred to kind of like underneath my eye so today I just took a teeny tiny little bit of translucent powder and just put it kind of like just under here to hopefully prevent my mascara from transferring um, so I'll keep you posted on that but um, other than that I really like this and I'm happy that I picked it up um, so good alternative to NARS if you are a NARS creamy concealer fan the next thing that I picked up is this primer, which I'm really excited about. So this is the Mecca Max um, brand. So Mecca has just launched their own brand of beauty. And this is a primer. It's the Bright Bring On Bright Illuminating Primer. And I really like this so far. Again, only used it twice, but um, it's giving me kind of like strobe cream vibes, but with more of a golden undertone, which I really like. That really suits my skin tone, I think. So I'm loving this so far. It's very hydrating. Um, this is a glow injecting primer um, to act as your base. The ultimate fast fake for beam brighter glam. And what's in here? Anything special? No, just a whole bunch of words that I don't want to try and read. But anyway, I really like this. It's hydrating, brightening, illuminating. Yeah, so pick that up. And I also restocked on the Josie Marin Argan Oil. I showed this to you guys in my last Mecca haul, and it's just one of my favorite moisturizers. I've been without it for a couple of months, and I really noticed a difference in like how my makeup was sitting on my skin. So I wanted to pick this up again. And this is also a really good alternative to like for me right now because I'm pregnant. I'm really careful with the anti-aging pro products that I'm using, so at nighttime, I've had to switch up from my normal serum that I would use at night, and so this is just really hydrating. It has anti-aging properties, but it's like all natural, so I feel like it's safe for me to use while I'm pregnant. So I picked that up, and the next thing I got was this little Glam Glow. So this is the Youth Mud, and this is the one that's like, I don't know if you guys have seen it on social media, but you put it on and it's like silver. So I'm really excited to try this. I have not tried it yet, but um, I bought this in the mini size, and the reason I do that is because when you're buying a skincare product that you've never used before, you don't necessarily know how your skin's going to react to it, or if you're even going to like it. So I thought I'd pick this up, I think it was $25 versus spending 100 on the bigger, like, 
pot of it to find out if I like it first. So I'll try this out this weekend and let you guys know how I like it. Make sure you're following me on Instagram because I'll probably post it on my Insta stories to kind of tell you guys a little bit more about what I think about this. Um, I'll put my handle up here and it will also be in the description box below. But then the last thing that I purchased from Mecca, again, I have mentioned to these mentioned these to you guys before, but I wanted to show them to you because the packaging has changed and I spent ages wandering around Mecca looking for these because I was like, oh my god, they don't sell them anymore. But it's just, they have them, the packaging is just different. So this is the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Two-Step Peel Pads. And this is like a holy grail skincare item for me. I really love these. I just feel like they are so, like, instant transformation of the skin. Like, your skin feels so soft after you use these. Clears out the pores. Um, it's obviously anti-aging. But really what these do is just smooth out your skin so much. It makes your makeup sick better. Even when you're not wearing makeup, you just look so much better. Like, your skin just looks amazing with these. So if you have not tried these, I would highly recommend them. They come in two different formulas. I get the extra strength ones because... I've been using these for a long time, so I know that my skin can handle it, but there are just like a normal formula, so if you haven't used something like this before, this is essentially like doing a chemical peel, but at home, and just like a little bit like subdued, I guess, if you were to go to a salon and get a chemical peel, but um, that's essentially what this is. So if you haven't used them before, start out with the just normal formula to see if your skin can handle them and how you respond to them, but I love these and I swear by them. So I picked up more of these. And then I also got my Beauty Loop box while I was there. And I thought I would just show you what I got because I think it's so fun to like open these up and see what you get. So I am Beauty Loop level two. And I'll show you what I got in my box. Anyway. <laughs> All right, so. Got four little, four little things in here, and the first thing is this By Terry primer. So this is the, oh god, I can't read it in French. I'm not even going to try to say that, I'll just show it to you. This little primer, so it's a anti-regal serum base, so I love trying primers. This sounds like it will be fun to try, and it's a decent sized little sample in there as well, so get a few uses out of that. That's one thing I kind of love about the Beauty Loop box is like they give you samples but they're usually a pretty good enough size for you to be able to use it enough times to kind of see if you might actually want to try out the product. So that's the first thing in there. The second thing is this Ren Clear Skin Care V Sense Youth Vitality Day Cream. So this is, looks just like a little moisturizer. Doesn't have SPF in it so not so sure about that. I typically like to have SPF in my daily moisturizer, especially living in New Zealand. The sun is so strong here. It's so important to wear sunblock on your skin. But I'll give this a try and let you guys know what I think. I'm pretty particular about moisturizer just because I just like my skin to be so hydrated, glowy, dewy, you know. So I'll be picky about this, but I'll give it a try and let you know what I think. Next thing is a sample size of the Better Than Sex Mascara from Too Faced. That is not going to focus. It's too shiny. So, this is the um, original formula, not the waterproof one. And this is actually the mascara that I tried out yesterday when I got the transferring onto my under eyes with the concealer. So, I'm not sure if it was the mascara or the concealer, a combination of both. Anyway, I'm not wearing this one today, but... Um, I don't know, it was okay. I didn't really like the brush. The brush is very, like, big on it, so I didn't love that. And I'm really sort of not picky when it comes to mascara, so I don't know if I'm the best person to, like, judge this for you, but if you, maybe you've used it and you know, but I don't know. I typically wear false lashes, so mascaras to me are kind of like, meh. But anyway, I tried that out. And then the last thing I got is this Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lip, which... I'm not the biggest fan of liquid lipsticks, but I do love Stila, and I have another color of this same formula, and it is probably, if I was going to wear a liquid lip, I would probably reach for this kind of formula, because it, to me it's quite comfortable to wear, 
but I'll swatch this for you and show you the color. This color is called Rubino, and it's very dark and vampy, which I love. I'm all about a dark, vampy color. So I'll let you guys know how I like that. Maybe I'll post a picture wearing it or something like that. I do like the color, though. I feel like that's the color that I would wear that would suit me if I was going for more of like a vampier vibe. Could have worn it today, maybe. Um, but that is everything I got in my beauty loot box. And the other things I wanted to share with you are, firstly, this Dior Dream Skin Perfect Cushion. So I've been really into trying Dior products lately. I don't know why, which is kind of sucks for me because they're expensive. Um, but I wanted to try this whole cushion idea. I've never had a cushion foundation. So I picked this one up and the first thing about it that's really cool is that not only does it come with this compact, so the cushion is in here obviously, but when you buy it, you get a refill. So it comes with the second cushion in the package. Um, so it's expensive, but I feel like you do get a lot for your money. I think it was $145 New Zealand, but this will last for ages, so I don't know, I kind of felt like that was justified just because knowing that the um, refill was in there. And the other reason I picked this up is because it's super lightweight, just sort of looks like a tinted moisturizer on the skin, but it has skincare in it. And for a day-to-day -day look for me, I don't really like to wear a lot of makeup on my skin. Um, and I love the fact that this has anti-aging skincare, like, built into it. So, I'll read you what it says. It's, um, Dream Skin Perfect Skin Cushion, SPF 25, is the first your skincare to instantly enhance the complexion's natural beauty, offering perfect skin during the day and helping to minimize the visible signs of aging, wrinkles, pores, and a dull complexion, in addition to covering spots with every application. Um, so this doesn't have a whole lot of coverage, but for me, I don't care about that. I love that it just kind of brightens up my skin, evens it out, gives me a nice dewy finish. It's very glowy and just so natural looking. Like when I have this on, I feel like I don't look like I'm wearing makeup, which is typically what I go for on a day-to-day -day basis. Like my day job, like I work in a very casual office. Um, I'm constantly like in and out of the gym doing like active activities. So I don't really like to have a lot of makeup on my skin. So I've been loving this, and if you can, I would recommend going to try it, especially if you're someone who kind of does that no makeup makeup thing on most days. So loving that. And next, oh, maybe I'll just tell, next I'll just mention this lipstick. So um, I picked this up a few weeks ago. It's the one I'm wearing now, and it's from MAC. It's the Lip Tensity Lipstick in Eros, and I really like this formula and the color. This color is really fun too. So, um, it's not matte, it's it's a lipstick, but it's long wearing and so pigmented. Like, this is just one layer, one application of this lipstick, and it's super pigmented, kind of moisturizing a little bit. It doesn't like fully dry down, but I also feel like it lasts really well through the day through eating and things like that. I don't feel like I have to touch it up very much when I wear it. So I really love this. And yeah, just thought I would give that a quick mention. And then the last thing I picked up is um, this hand cream, which is from the brand Aesop. I don't know if you guys have heard of this brand, but first of all, the packaging, so cute. So chic, so cute, I love it. And there's a whole heap of cream in here. Um, 2.6 ounces, which is amazing. I think this was $39, I believe. Sorry, $39, I believe. Um, and I love the smell. So the scent of this one is mandarin and rosemary leaf. But it smells very like, I don't know how to describe it. It's not sweet, it's like, kind of earthy, but with a little floral note to it as well. And I love this. I'll put this in my handbag is why I bought it. Um, I just think it looks so cute. Like, I don't know. I love things that like when I look at them, like they're pretty and they make me happy. And this was just one of those things. And also it's like a really yummy hand cream, like very good on your skin. So I bought that to put in my handbag. But that 
is the last thing. So, that is all I have for you guys today. Um, let me know if you've tried any of this stuff, if you love any of it, hate of it, hate, hate any of it. Why am I so tongue-tied? In the comments down below, you can let me know your thoughts. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are not already. But that is it, you guys. I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.